Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Today's video I'm going to show you guys how to check if you're in full screen exclusive mode, whether you're in DX11, DX12, or the new performance mode in Fortnite. Now you can also use this to check in different games, and there's a reg file to download if for some reason you have not already placed your game in full screen exclusive mode. So I just wanted to quickly compare the three between full screen exclusive, full screen optimizations, and DX12. This is from a Microsoft blog on their website. So full screen exclusive, the game completely comes first over any other process that's running on the computer besides like the Win32 processes that are running in the background that have to run for your computer to work. When you have the full screen optimizations on, which I'm also going to show how to turn those off in a second, it's the Windows 10 highly optimized, as they call it, borderless Windows mode. So it's supposed to be like the full screen exclusive, but you're able to alt tab out faster, use multiple displays at the same time, and have overlays come up on your screen. You can have overlays on your screen when you're in full screen exclusive, except it's going to take up more processing power of your computer to be able to use the overlays to override the exclusive part. And when you're in DX12, this is your generic borderless window mode. It's supposed to be like the new style of performance. It's what a lot of games are going to go to in the future, but as of right now, using the full screen exclusive will give you the lowest input delay because the game is controlling the entire computer and you have nothing else running in the background. So these are the ways to check. If you have a second monitor, you'll be able to check easily because you won't. when the game is open, you won't be able to access the other window. So if you have like OBS open in the background like this, when you alt tab from your game, it will minimize and that will show you that you're in full screen. You can also use the Windows key plus R, which should minimize your game. But sometimes this doesn't work as well as the first method here, but it's just an alternate way to try. So I'm going to show the example here of Fortnite. Be this works for all games. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to be uploading more frequently here over the next couple months. So make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any more content. Now as you see, when I tab out, this is what my screen looks like. See how it minimizes the game in the background? So this is DX12, and I can already tell I'm not in full screen exclusive, so my input delay feels significantly more. See when I alt tab, oh, I'm staying completely open here in the background. Another way to test is by using, if you have a keyboard that has volume sound, your volume appears on your screen. Here's performance mode. Now as I alt tab here, my game minimizes in the background and it looks like this. And if I use the volume on this screen, you can see it. But now if I use the volume, you can't see it. To turn off full screen optimizations, you're going to want to find your game file. So for Fortnite, it's going to be in Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. And now these application types are the ones that you're going to want to right click on, Properties, Compatibility, and then Disable Full Screen Optimizations, Override High DPI Scaling Behavior and scaling performed by the application you want checked. And you want to do this for all four application files. I have a reg file set to file dropper to download that will run and turn off game bar and make sure you're in full screen exclusive mode. But most of you should already be in this. This video was just made so you can check and make sure that you are still in it because people are having issues with Fortnite every once in a while. And if you have run this and you check and your full screen optimizations are off, you want to make sure you go in and delete your Fortnite game folder or change the name of it. So that's going to be found under, you can either check in the folder here, I'll show you really quick. So it's going to be under users, name, app data, local, Fortnite game, this folder. So if you just change it to like Fortnite game one, or you can just delete the entire folder and it'll reload when Fortnite loads up. Another way to get it is by just doing run percent local app data percent and it'll bring you to right here where you can see I just changed it to Fortnite game one. Sometimes if you have your game user settings set on read only and you have a setting wrong in there, it will not allow your game to go back to full screen exclusive. 
especially after Fortnite updates, this becomes a problem because they change things in there. And if you have it on read only, it's going to mess with the game. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.